Nagpupustahan kami ni Dee kung ano to, yogurt or mayo. Sasabihin ko lang sa inyo yung mga details na dapat nyo malaman before you book your tour here in Panglao Bohols. Saan si Kuya? Ayun. Take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I can do what I'm supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm poking out my head through open windows. Cause that's what I feel like. Do it tonight. Waking up my brain. Maybe you can do the same. Want me to say something? I come up with nothing. Maybe we can talk and talk. For lunch, we went here in Barwu. They serve tasty food fusion Asian Korean cuisine. We ordered their best seller, the mango chicken wings, and also the sea urchin bibimbap. So if you're looking for Korean food near in Alona Beach, this is the place to be. So we just got back here at the hotel from our island hopping. So I recap ko lang yung mga nangyari kanina and sasabihin ko lang sa inyo yung mga details na dapat nyong malaman before you book your tour here in Panglao Bohol. So first, ang itinerary namin is dolphin watching and then Balikasag Island and then Virgin Island. Ang inclusions niya is mga entrance fee, tapos boat, tour guide, tapos mga snorkeling gears. And ang hindi lang included dun sa uh, sa tour package, yung separate na kailangan mong bayaran is yung entrance fee sa Virgin Island. 60 pesos pagka Filipino and then 100 pesos pagka foreigner. So basically parang sand lang siya na medyo nakaangat sa, sa gitna ng dagat. Parang ganon. Hindi na kami bumaba kasi sobrang init. <laughs> Pero yung ibang kasama namin, bumaba naman sila. Balikasag Island naman, pagbaba namin doon, doon kami binigyan ng snorkeling gears and then kada dalawang tao isang guide and then kung gusto nyo na magrent ng add-ons like GoPro uh, kung gusto nyo na makapture yung video nyo pagka nagsusnorkeling or nagda-diving ayan pwede kayong magrent doon meron silang rentals ng GoPro range nya is 2,500 to 3,000 so yung guide nyo rin yung magpipicture sa inyo yung magbibideo sa inyo kung gusto nyo ng for memories or kung gusto nyo ng 
yung capture lang yung moment na yun. Kung gusto niyo rin na mag-rent ng fins, pwede rin na uh, additional din yun. And grabe, sobrang daming fish. Iba't ibang klaseng fish yung nakita namin. Grabe, tuwan-tuwa kami kasi pwede rin na mag-fish feeding. So, para at least medyo malapit sa iyo yung mga isda. So, ang pakain lang sa mga isda is sky flakes. Meron ka din kami nakita na pawikan. Sa dolphin watching, we were so lucky na nakakita kami ng dolphin. Sobrang lapit pa niya sa amin. Uh, sabi nga sa amin ng guide, kahapon daw nagre-reklamo yung mga guests nila kasi hindi daw sila nakakita ng dolphin. Makakita kami ng dolphin o hindi, kasama pa rin siya sa bayad. So yeah, iba lang yung experience niya. Sobrang tuwan-tuwa kami kanina. So yun lang naman yung kabuuan ng aming tour for today. Tomorrow is our last day. Ang flight namin, pabalik na Manila is 6.45 a.m. So, magsuchill-chill muna ako dito. And then, we'll see you guys later. Check natin yung parang game room dito sa taas. Ito yung sa slide. <laughs> slide nga tayo dito. Puta! Hindi tayo kasha! Hindi tayo dumiretso. Conversations in my head got me conflicted with what you said. I tend to second guess myself like too much. At dinner, we went to this famous restaurant in Bohol called Mist. The place is totally Instagram worthy. And the ambience is so nice. A lot of people come here to dine, so expect that sometimes the lines might be long. Go. Ay ba, warhammer stick. Oh, sweet. Their pirate chicken was the best selling dish, but we decided not to order it as the serving size was too large for just the two of us. And since we had already ordered a lot of food, we were afraid that we wouldn't be able to finish it.
Hey guys, good morning. So it's our last day here in Solea. Today's itinerary, very chill na lang kami kasi tomorrow is our flight. Gagamit na namin yung gym. After that, we're gonna swim. Then later on, magpapamasage kami. So that's our whole itinerary for today. It's already 9 a.m. Magkakofi lang ako. And then, gigisingin ko na si B. We went to Garlic and Lemon Bistro to have lunch. The restaurant gives me this retro vibes. And the owner is very friendly and accommodating. I ordered garlic buttered shrimp. I thought it was just cooked plainly with butter and garlic. But surprisingly, they added some leafy vegetables and some creamy sauce. And then they ordered this breaded chicken with fries. I would say it's too blunt or plain without the gravy. I'm just a little disappointed that you have to pay additional 60 pesos for the gravy itself. Beside garlic and lemon bistro is the overgrown cafe. We ordered iced latte for 180 pesos. The coffee is great and the ambience is delightful. It's the perfect spot if you need to get some work done while on vacation. Ano, hindi ko makita eh. Hindi, kaya isa pa. Ngayari ganyan, di ba? For dinner, we visited Ola near Alano Beach, which serves a fusion of Asian and Mexican cuisine. Surprisingly, the prices were not as high as the other restaurants we have visited in Bohol. We ordered chicken cilantro, nachos, and beef quesadilla. According to Dee, this was the best meal of our entire trip and also the most affordable one. The food was really delicious and it was a great way to end our trip in Bohol. So, nagpupustahan kami ni Dee kung ano to, yogurt or mayo. Ano sabi? Mayo. Ah! <laughs> Alala ko, 20! 20! 20! Dapat pala pinista ko 1 beat ko. Pili! 20! 20! 20! 20! 20! 20! Hey guys, so we just got back here at the hotel. So we went to Garlic and Bistro for lunch and then we had coffee. And then, we worked out for like 30 minutes. I think I should bring one gym attire with me every time we uh, out of town or out of country. So I at least ma force to work out at least once. Kanina nung nag-gym ako, ano lang ang attire ko. 
yung pang swimming ko na yung pang loob and then nagsando na lang ako and then naka-sleepers ako dun sa treadmill so yeah i think i will make it a habit na next time magdadala ko na at least one gym attire and after that nag-swimming kami sa pool dito sa hotel and then after that we went out to have a massage and then we went to hola mexican food to have dinner so ayun na naman it was a perfect day to end our trip here in Panglao Bohol. So if ever you're gonna come here, I suggest that you should book a hotel near Alona Beach. Kasi dun yung mga pinakamaraming restaurants, bar, yung parang maraming happenings yon. Para at least malesen yung expense nyo for transportation. Because what I've mentioned uh, before is yung transportation dito, yung tricycle dito is 150 yung per ride. Overall, we really enjoyed our stay here. Uh, it was very relaxing from a busy and stressful days in Manila. So, parang I feel so recharged and motivated to work and to edit more videos after this trip. Kaya very excited na akong bumalik ng Manila kasi manami na namin akong i-edit. Parang you feel so recharged and refreshed and you have these creative ideas in your mind. Diba? Kasi parang the past few weeks, or the past few months after the Hong Kong trip namin, which is January, parang super cloudy ng utako. Tapos hindi ako masadong makakisip na mga creative thoughts and ideas. And yeah, this trip was very refreshing for me. Always find time to take a break and recharge your batteries, diba? You gotta have this work-life balance for you to be able to come up with fresh ideas. So yeah, I think that's all for my Pang Love vlog. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on my social media accounts for daily updates. And I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye!